He said to them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Why did they have no faith? Why did they have no faith? Because they missed their rhema. Now you may wonder, where did they miss their rhema? Verse 35. Verse 35. On the same day when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. Did you notice what Jesus said to them? Let us cross over to the other side. That's the rhema. That's the rhema. That's the spoken word. That's the specific word. That's the declaration. But they missed it. They didn't pay attention to it. They didn't hear it to the point that faith was released in them. That's the sad thing in, in the church today. Too many people are hearing the word but not hearing it. Meaning they are hearing it but not to the point that faith is produced inside of them. Now the disciples missed their rhema because they thought like all other words, these were also, you know, words that he normally talks whenever he gets into the boat. But that was not a normal word. That was a rhema word. That was a spoken word. That was a specific word. They missed it. Why? Because they let it pass over their minds. Many times we sit in services, hear the sermon and walk away and let that word pass over our mind. Or we get distracted by somebody or something in the service. Our minds get occupied with other things and we miss the rhema word. And then when the storm comes, we panic. We fear we don't know what to do. Why? Because there's no faith to confront the storm. That's the problem with the church today. We don't pay serious attention to the word. That's why whenever you come to the church and hear the preaching of the word, you must give utmost attention to it. Why? Because in that message, God can give you your rhema. And when you receive that rhema from God, faith comes. And when faith comes, your victory comes. Amen. Did you hear me? Yes. We are talking about power to overcome limitations and faith is victorious is the point we are covering. But how does that faith come? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word, hearing the rhema. Not hearing the Logos. The Logos is the entire Bible. Hearing the specific word for your situation produces faith. They had a rhema from the Lord. What was that rhema? Let us cross over to the other side. They missed it. And their minds were occupied with other things. Be careful when you sit and hear the sermon. Oh, this is just another Sunday sermon. Yes. 